what's good everybody as y'all can see it is once again wash day today i'm going to be doing a full product review on a black owned business a natural hair care line called naturally alluring hair care i'm going to start off by using their foaming shampoo it's like of course foam and it smells kind of like tea tree oil to me um but yeah i'm going to start off by using that to just you know get my hair all clean so it doesn't be so greasy as it was as I'm sure you can see from my facial expressions I was thoroughly like <laughs> turned and like very surprised with this shampoo like I could detangle my hair with this shampoo which I never do because shampoo typically makes my hair you know tangled and kind of dry but this was like the bomb and like look at the definition of my hair y'all this new ring light I got is really showing out like showing out okay As you can see, this is what my hair looked like after the first shampoo, and I decided to do it a second time just because my hair didn't really feel clean. It still felt kind of greasy, but the second time around, I got more suds, so I know it was really cleaning my hair. I just had so much buildup. I just needed all of the help. But the second time around, it definitely did its job. So now I'm going in with the whole blends conditioner from Garnier. She did originally send me some conditioner when she sent me the products to review, but she told me to use it as a leave-in instead of a conditioner. So I just went and grabbed a conditioner that I know for a fact is really moisturizing and it did the job like plus one, plus two, plus three. And it was so easy to take on my hair. I did go in and add a little bit more water just so I can make sure I got all the moisture that I know I needed after my last wash day and I'm just going to detangle after that. I was just so amazed with how my hair was looking and like how easy it was to detangle my hair like y'all see that stop playing with me but my hair has come such a long way like I just had to like embrace it and this ring light just pops out my life like pops out and I'm just gonna model for y'all because you know that's what I do in the shower basically and I dance okay new reason uh, uh, uh. My before I need a visa. Uh, I don't need it. I'm a joke. Ignore me. Okay, next up is the body scrub. She does have like a wide variety of like body scrubs on her website. This one that I'm using right now is the lavender salt body scrub and I really liked it it was really really moisturizing whatever oil she uses in her scrubs like popping okay like look at this glow and it just dissolves like you don't have to worry about like it rubbing off like too hard like it just dissolves into your skin and I use this on my feet as well this one is the coffee scrub and it's a it's, it's different um it doesn't dissolve it is like rough, but it's like a good type of rough, so you make sure you get all that dead skin off. And I use this on my feet as well, but it is messy. I can say that for a fact. It's messy. Okay, so I'm going to talk in this part because who about to do this long voiceover? Let's talk in this part. I don't even like voiceovers. It's hard for me to listen to myself talk. I want to start off by saying my hair is extremely, extremely soft. 
um, and very, it's already detangled and like, you know, I kind of detangled in the shower, but I didn't really. First of all, shout out to the girl. Did you see those roots, baby? All new girl, don't play with me. The shampoo I used um, from her collection was like so nice. Like it was a foaming shampoo. And like the first time I just had to shampoo my hair again, which I usually don't do twice in one month. But my hair was so greasy from the previous products I used. It was just like, no, so it's like you have to shampoo your hair and get this stuff out. So I shampooed it the first time and my hair, was, it was like really nice. It was really sudsy. Not really sudsy, but it was sudsy enough. And when I washed it out, rinsed it out, is my hair still felt kind of greasy. So I did a second time and I got more suds that time. Um, and it felt clean after that. But it was really nice. And you will see like in a video, I was detangling with shampoo, which I never do. When I do, I never do that. Never do that. So that's like a plus, plus, plus. Because I wouldn't even try to do it. I would just kind of go like this. And I was like, hold on. So originally, this was supposed to be the conditioner for the line, but she texted me and was like, um, use it as a leave-in, don't use it as conditioner. That's why you see me using the Hope Blends conditioner, which has my hair incredibly soft, like, oh my gosh. But, yep, so I'm going to use this as a leave-in. I'm also going to be using her oil, which looks like this. Oh, right there. There's a whole bunch of essential oils in here. I actually really like this. I've already used it on my scalp. It makes my hair like extremely soft um, by my scalp. But today I'm going to be using this for my scalp and to lock in the moisture from the leave-in. So I can twist my hair back down. She told me it was shea butter in it. Okay, that was some weird liquid. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm use that much on this. Why am I like this? Okay, so I ran out of storage. So I did one twist just because it was hanging, but it's so moisturized, y'all. Like, heavy moisturized. I know it looks janky, but it's moisturized though. Like, this could turn into a bomb twist though. I don't think it will last because it's no gel, but this could definitely, if I was to unravel these under, after I took my wig off, it would definitely be like a natural style. So, with her oil packaging, I like that it's different. It's not like one of those applicator bottles where you just put it in your scalp like this. You actually have like this, which I know probably costs more money. Being that she is a smaller business, it probably costs a lot of money. But this looks like it's very precise. like And like it distributes like just the right amount. So like you don't have like oil going everywhere. It's like so nice. I just love the bottle so much. I might love the bottle more than I love the oil, to be honest. But yes, it is a liquid that comes out before the actual product. I don't know if that's like the water or whatever, but like, I don't know. Like, I know it's, it's probably water in it. I have to go back and check the ingredients. Um, I'm going to leave a link to the website in the description box so y'all can go check the ingredients out yourself because she does have the ingredients for every product. But I like it's like it's like just the amount, right amount of shea butter because I feel like the last product I used was like more shea butter than anything else, and I didn't really like that. I feel like this is mixed with like other stuff like evenly, so my hair doesn't feel like super greasy, and I really like that. And the oil smells like, um, I don't know, it's not, it's not too strong. Like, if you've ever used wild growth oil, like, it's not nothing like that at all. But it does smell like tea tree oil, eucalyptus oil, black cast oil. Like, I can smell all of that in there. I know it's more oils in it. Um, can't name, name off the top of my head. But like I said, I will put the website in the description box so you can go see. But... Whatever is the softening oil in this stuff, I think that might be almond oil or apple, something like that. It leaves my hair very, very soft. Like my twists are so much more juicy. It's not greasy. It's just, it's really nice. I like it a lot. I'm not gonna finish this on camera just for this one, like it's gonna take forever. So that's pretty much my review on the leave-in and the oil. Let me talk really quick about the, um, other products before my hair dries and then I have to wet it again. 
with the shampoo I told you guys I love that with the scrubs now it is more scrubs I will pull them out but that she gave me the honey brown sugar the sugar honey lip scrub the coffee scrub the lavender scrub I also have the lemon scrub but I bought that myself I also have this Himalayan rose salt scrub before I use a lot of it um one thing I can say all around about her scrubs the oils that she put in in them are like so moisturizing like it softens your skin so much if you wanted to like shave one day like your legs um i would definitely recommend exfoliating first just for a smooth shave in general but the oil film that it leaves over your legs like once you use it or like rinse it off is like perfect for like before you add like your um shave cream or if you just want to shave with the oil on there like it's so nice and it leaves like such a smooth shave and i love that um usually that's what i i use this scrub the himalayan rose salt scrub before i shave but i absolutely love the lavender scrub like it was just the right amount of like rough and like it dissolves like when you're rubbing it so you don't have to be like trying to you know push it off and stuff the honey brown sh the honey brown sugar scrub um i was kind of iffy about that one just because it wasn't really like rough like i need to be like i didn't feel like it was getting my dead skin off i felt like as soon as i put it in like it like dissolved and i had to keep using a lot to even try to get any type of prog progress so that probably wouldn't be my number one the coffee scrub i use that that's a face and a body scrub so i used it on my legs and on my face um with my legs and my face it was very hard to rinse off like it didn't dissolve so i had to like keep rinsing keep rinsing keep rinsing like that was the longest part of my shower ever and it left a mess in my shower so i definitely have to go clean my shower after this my face is really soft feels really moisturized some masks like dry my face out that one did not so the scrub is like nice also for my legs it left my legs really soft and it has a really strong coffee scent I personally love the smell of coffee. If you're not a coffee fan, probably not for you. But the results are worth it. Um, it just leaves a kind of a mess. I absolutely love the lip scrubs. I use them in the morning, mostly after I brush my teeth. To, can I like to pick at my lip when my anxiety gets high? Judge mama. It really helps like get rid of that dead skin so like I don't have like, you know, that skin and stuff so i really love the lemon scrub and it tastes really good because of course you're going to taste it but it tastes really good so i really love that the sugar honey lip scrub i like that as well um but both of the lemon and the sugar honey are kind of soft and i have used this brown sugar one that she has that's rougher and i kind of like that one better but the lemon scrub and the sugar honey lip scrub they're both a okay with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't mind my hair like i said i will finish and turn on that bell so you don't miss any of my new notifications i got a ring light now so now i think i'm popping get at your girl i will check you guys next time peace love and blessings and have a nice day